Sai Chow again for another weekly video. I have just recently got back from visiting London and while I was there I definitely did a fair bit of shopping. So I thought today I'd do a haul video with you as I haven't done one of these in literally forever. I can't even remember the last time I ever did a haul video. I've only ever done a couple on my channel before but I love filming these videos so I thought today I would share with you what I bought when I was in London and yeah let's just get straight into the video. First few items, if you've seen any of my favourites videos you know that I love NYX makeup and I went to Westfields, the one in Stratford when I was in London and I was very excited to go there because I knew in the boots there they had quite a big NYX section. What I didn't realise was that NYX have actually opened up their own store in Westfields. It must be quite a recent thing because I think the last time I went to Westfields was in October, so that was quite a few months ago and it wasn't there at that point. But I walked in and I saw it straight away and I was like, when did that get there? I need to go in there. And it was like the first shop that I went in. So of course I picked up a few things while I was there. The first thing I picked up is the Colour Correcting Liquid Primer. It's basically a primer base before applying a foundation or with the rest of your makeup. And I got this one in particular, the green one, because it's supposed to help neutralise redness. And I often get quite sort of blotchy, kind of red marks, especially on my cheeks. My face just gets red very easily, basically. So I thought this would be ideal for me. And I've tried it out already. You barely need to use any product. It's really good. And it basically does what it says it's going to do. It really does help to even out the redness. And I haven't tried any other primer products like this, so I can't really compare how good it is to other ones. But I definitely say this does help to balance out the redness, so I'm really happy with that. I'm um, definitely going to keep using this, and even though it's a small bottle, like I said, you only need minimal product, so yeah, it should last quite a while, hopefully, and it's a really good travel size as well. Then I, of course, had to pick up a couple of lip items while I was there. So the first one is another NYX lingerie colour. I think a few favourites videos back, I had a couple of these featured in it. And I really love them, they're like matte liquid lipsticks, all in kind of neutral pinky tones. I saw this one, I thought it just looked like a really stunning beautiful colour. I'm yet to actually open it and try it, I'll do a swatch for you so you can see what it's like. Also I'm really intrigued to see it again because I looked at it in the shop and yeah I haven't actually used this one yet. But it's in the shade Exotic, I'm sure I'll be wearing this a lot, it's a very kind of summery slash nighttime kind of colour. But yeah, I'm excited to try this one. Then the other thing I picked up for lips from NYX is the Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this one is in the shade Buenos Aires, which I think this is an ideal summer colour. It's this really kind of nice corally pink tone, which is ideal for every day and just such a nice summer colour. I've never tried the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams before. So I'll let you know how I get on with it, but I like the idea that it is a soft matte lip cream because some of the other matte lipsticks, like the lingerie ones and the suede liquid lipsticks, can be quite dry. So I'm hoping this one's a bit more moisturising. And yeah, I'll let you know how it goes. They're also really cute little ones like this, and each of them was named after a different place, which I really liked. Another makeup item that I picked up is actually an eyeshadow palette that came from H&M. Now again, if you've seen any of my favourites videos, you'll know that I'm obsessed with rose gold. So when I saw this, I was like, I definitely have to buy that. And it's the Copper Eyeshadow and Brow Kit. And it's got these stunning, shimmery, they're all very shimmery, rose gold, coppery kind of shades. And I love it. It's also got three different shades for doing your eyebrows. I'm yet to use those, but I'm currently actually using a combination of shades one and two on my eyes. I don't know if you can really see it, let me just zoom, let me just come close so you can see. So these are the two kind of lighter shades from the palette and I just think they're all such stunning colours so, and they're all very pigmented as well. I'll also be trying out the brow kit at some point soon. Next item I got has come from a shop that I have mentioned before in a video and I don't think it's that well known yet in the UK, I think. I might be wrong on this, I think it's Australian, it's called Kiki K and it's this amazing stationery shop 
If you've got a thing for stage three, definitely check it out because there's so many beautiful items in there, so many different stage three things and so many different designs and patterns and it's just really lovely. And while I was in there, I picked up this little book called A Sentence A Day, which I just thought was really cute. I'm a sucker for these kind of things. It's also got rose gold writing as well. May have swayed me to buy it. But it's just so cute. So like if I open it on a random day, for example, so April the 19th says stay in or go out and it's basically got space on each page for three different years and there's a different sentence for each day of the years it suggests a sentence a day in the name and then there's space for three different years so you can I like the fact you can look what you did on that same day or what you said on that same day the year before to see if your opinions changed or if what you're doing has changed or I just love these kind of things so if you're also into this kind of thing definitely check out Kiki K and also just generally for stationery, it's really pretty and really nice. Now onto a couple of clothing items that I picked up while I was there. The first is this t-shirt, which has got confident written on it and then it's crossed out. And I described it kind of like baseball type style top, I guess, I don't know. It's a cropped top, but it's quite loose, which I quite like, and that's ideal for the summer as it's nice and loose. Then you've also got this little tie though at the bottom which is quite nice as it's different to any other kind of top and it just hangs really nice and loosely. It was also in the sale at the time, I think it was only £5, yeah and it should have been £13 so that was pretty good, a pretty good saving. I am also a sucker for any kind of sale item, always just seems to make it so much better whenever you bought it in the sale, even if it's just got a couple of pounds knocked off. <laughs> They also have this in one other design as well. I'll definitely be wearing this a lot, so you'll probably be seeing it in some videos at some point soon. And this, I don't know if I actually said or not, but this came from H&M. Another clothing item that I picked up is actually a play suit. Is it a play suit or a jumpsuit? No, a play suit is done with shorts, I think. And a jumpsuit is the long one, so a play suit. I'd seen this online on Misguided, and sadly they didn't have my size there. But now in Westfields, if you know Misguided, it's basically like a massive online store with loads of different clothes. I love all the different styles on there. It's a really great website, so definitely check it out if you haven't heard of it before. And it's all really reasonably priced as well. I'm not sure where they ship to, whether it's worldwide or not, but definitely check it out. And they've now actually opened a store in Westfields, which is amazing. It's a massive store that I think it's got... It had two floors and each floor is just massive, it's literally like they've got their whole online stock in store. It's definitely worth checking out because obviously you can try it on. That's the only issue sometimes with buying online is you'll get it and it doesn't fit and you have to send it back and it's just a whole very annoying procedure to go through. So it's sometimes easier just to actually go to the shop and try it on and see if you like it on you and if it fits. And I found this play suit there which I'm so happy that I did because they didn't have my size online and I found it in store in my size. And it's just really pretty and summery. So basically, it's got two straps like this. It comes up in the middle. And then you've got the little shorts at the bottom. And it's kind of like a loose over top, kind of over the short part, which I think is really pretty. And then at the back, you've got a zip. And it also splits. This like overhanging bit kind of splits open. It's so hard to kind of show and hold it up. But I hope you can, yes, yeah, so it kind of splits open. Here. and it's made of a really nice good quality material as well and I think it was £22 I think which I think is really good because this one especially this time you, you can wear it in the day as a sort of smart casual kind of look but then you could also wear it out at night dinner or going out somewhere so it kind of works for every kind of occasion so I think it's really pretty I think it'll also be really comfortable because it's made of quite elasticated material so that's always good I like things like that the only awkward thing that I find though about places is actually going to the toilet because then you have to take it all down. Although in summer that's really bad because it's hot anyway, but in winter that is not nice. But it's definitely really pretty and worth the struggle. <laughs> the final item that I picked up came from River Island. I'm sure many of you have seen something similar to this before. It's a pair of sunglasses that you've probably seen them before, a lot of people have them, they're like the cat-eyed sunglasses with the frame that comes across here, and a lot of people have them in kind of the gold or rose gold, but when I was in River Island, I knew they sold them there and I really wanted to get a pair, 
But they currently have this limited edition in black, which I thought looked quite cool, and I think they actually suited me better than the rose gold ones. If not, of course, I would have gone for the rose gold. But I haven't really seen any in black before, and the, also the actual lenses, I just love them. I love mirrored lens sunglasses at the moment, I'm really obsessed with them. And I think these could be a limited edition, but I'm not 100% sure. And these are only, I think they're £14, so also really reasonable. I just really like them. I'm really loving these sunglasses. I've literally seen so many people wearing these, and I was like, I cannot wait to get a pair for myself because they stopped, I don't know if they'd had them online or in stock or, but I always find sunglasses as well, even though it's a pair of sunglasses, you have to try them on to see if it suits your face type, and um, yeah, I really, really like these as well. So that was my London haul for you today, I really hope you enjoyed it, let me know if you have any of these items, or if you've seen them recently, or if you end up buying any of these items, they'll all be linked down below, well, hopefully as I'm sure I'll still be able to find links to all of them online as I've literally only just bought them a few days ago, so they should still all be available. Also, be sure to smash that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and let me know if you'd like to see any more hauls in the future, and if you enjoyed this kind of style of video. I love making these kind of videos, so yeah, just let me know if you'd like to see any other hauls coming soon. Also be sure to check out my vlogs, which are currently on my main channel. I'm posting them there for the moment to see how it goes, and then I might end up starting the second channel or posting them on there depending on how often I end up vlogging but yeah be sure to check them out as well I'll leave a link to my most recent one down below so you can go watch that also if you are new to my channel don't forget to click that little red subscribe button down below as I really appreciate it if you did and I will be sure to see you next week with another weekly video bye